Hey, it's me. Hold on, where's my things at? I'm up. Oh, here it is. Sorry. T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. Well, oh, it's the afternoon. I better. It's late afternoon. Real late. Later, later than I usually. Ooh, whoo, just way past my woo up. This is this is like after work, you know, cocktail time. So I'm like, take my afternoon pill cocktail a little late. Vitamin D. I was just out. Actually, I was out for like. I must have been out for like three hours. Just sitting in the medium in the sun. Because it's a sunny day, and I think if we're looking for the it's my black seed. It's a sunny day, but tomorrow and the next day is not supposed to be so sunny. So I figure I get my vitamin I get my vitamin D from the sun today. Every time it's sun vitamin D since we got this lockdown, I just I get just right outside, right across where I am. It's a nice little tiny tiny park, just a sitting park. There are not a lot of people around, no people walking. And I sit there. Works well for me. So I'm fine. I get I get my vitamin D. Everything's fine. Find my brother. Everything's good with there. Oh. That means I can celebrate. Let me take some time here before I get into anything. Let me say I have certain favorite beers in the world. Like for instance, in in uh, in, in uh, Scotland, there's a thing called um, I think it's Golden Harvest. It's an organic beer. I really like that. I haven't had that in a long time. I don't even know if they still produce it like that. I need a. Where's my beard thing? Oh, here. Official beer mug. You know. But that's not all for this one. See, Negro Modelo, I learned, I, learned, I, learned, I got Negro Modelo uh, in Mexico. It's the dark beer. See, I don't, I only actually do dark. And then, but since it's Mexican beer, well, that's right. Got me a little lime. Let me cut it off in a, I'll cut it a slice like this. Got me a little lime, which means that, you know, if, I mean, if you're going to drink a Mexican beer, especially if you're going to drink a dark Mexican beer, actually going to drink any beer, it's good to have some lime, you know, to, you know, well, it's good for you. Let's put it that way. So, so that, but before I get to anything, uh, let me just say, I'm trying to actually be more efficient with my little thing. So I'm actually writing things down now. Lime in there. Put more beer. Let's see how this tastes. Lime beer. Basically, they put it in the, they put it on the, in the, well, that's just fancy. Here you go. Ah, just like I remembered it. So looks, a couple of things. Um, so I made, I've been starting to make notes for what to talk about. You know, I took a couple of days off here. You know, I was chilling, you know, thinking. Thought, speech, then action, right? So I was thinking. I got some notes here. First, I put, um, what's this? Uh, oh, Enterprise Zone. Oh, you know, they were talking about Enterprise Zones. You know what I mean? The, you know, the, the, these, these I'm going to get off the politicians real quick if I possibly can. No, I'm going to stay on politicians. This is a politician thing. Here's the problem, you know? When you say Enterprise Zone, something like that, you know, you're, that's not like reparations. Like they just they just doing stuff for you. But Enterprise Zones, to me, here's what I learned when I was in, um, 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 uh, Louisville, Kentucky. I was talking to this guy that's there, you know. What happens is they, they set up an enterprise zone. So now you have a viable community over here that has everything it needs, right? And they set up this enterprise zone, just for business folks like that. So people run from this viable community to this enterprise zone. Now they got you, you know, corral where they want you, right? So it's like apartheid. Apartheid never dies. It, it you know, so in other words, part of what they did was they moved you, they purposely, you stable here, they purposely moved you to some other thing that you got to build for years and years and years. They took that stability thing and gave it to somebody else. Or just let, let it go where it went. So with this enterprise on there, building something over here, you run over there, something new is in there, and they have you building everything. Then all of a sudden they'll change it, whatever. But it's apartheid, so I, I don't deal with that. But in me thinking about that, there's a couple of things. Well, first of all, I have to do this. Well, this is a little footnote. There's this thing. Uh, Malcolm is always in my head. Malcolm X is always in my head. One of the things he always used to say, you don't catch hell because you're Muslim. You don't catch hell because you're Christian. You don't catch hell because you're black. You catch hell because you're black, you know. 
Now to update that, I say you don't catch hell because you're black. You don't catch hell because you're Muslim. You don't catch hell because you're Christian. You catch hell because of other. You've been in hell, and you're gonna keep on. The hell's gonna keep on raining down on you because you ADOS, American descendant of chattel slavery. That's what you're North American descendant of chattel slavery. That's why. So you wanna do something about that? Do something about that. That's just a little footnote. Let me go off to that. That's, that bone. But here, I've I've distilled the problem. I've distilled the problem. Here's it. Everything is a remix. Da, 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 da. I let that sink in a little bit. Because I've been looking at all these, every time they have a solution to something, or every time one of these politicians talk, whatever have you, they always go to something they did in the past. Like uh, I was just listening to um, with Breaking Brown, Yvette Cornell. I was just telling how how Clyburn had this, you know, 2016, whatever it was, he had this thing he pulled out, you know, you're basically lifting all boats from the beer, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's going to be the same. They're going to get some, some money. To, I don't know what they're going to do, right? Like that. And then he, then now that they, they got this whole thing where they got Biden, they try to push Biden, they got to give him a black agenda, whatever have you. They, Clyde, everybody, so every, all the congressional people, everybody talks about Clyburn's initiative, the, the 10, 20, 30 initiative, or 30, 20, 10, whatever it is, some, some, something, some, some parsing out they do, you know. And she went through this whole thing, but the funny thing is, it's nothing but a dusted off thing from the 2060s, the same thing. He's just calling it reparations now, but it's not, it's not reparations. It's not a black agenda. They call it a black agenda. It's not a black agenda. No. This is the thing. It's always, uh, I want to do a South African context. Let me leave him alone. It's just, it's very simple, right? They they something that they 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 did a long time ago. They said, "Oh, it's a modern day. Let's let's retool it. It's a remix. Let, let's cut and paste it and put it over here. We remix it, put a new name on it. Blah blah blah. They'll go for it. But now with this pandemic and everybody sitting around and seeing what's going on, every time they first thing they do is what they always do. They bail out the rich people first. Well, how did that happen? Wait a second. Now people start thinking, "I ain't got my job." The 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 frontline workers, you know, they give them all the praise, but they don't give them no. Well, I don't know what they do with the frontline workers. Tell you the truth. But the point is, you know, they always will figure out something to do something in their favor. Their favor. Who? Well, you say, well, who are they? They are not you. That's all you have to know. <laughs> they are not you. Because if they were you, you would solve your problems. So what you have to do, what we have to do, is stop them from putting their agenda before our agenda. That's the point. Why is their remix better than our remix? If you, in other words, look, you got something to remix, right? Now they go back to their thing, some, and some lame old old white man come out and say, hey, here we go, we're going to put this one on. See how you like this one. It's an oldie but goodie. Oh, I'm sorry. It's updated. It's a remix. It's new. <laughs> you know, it's 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 the agenda from the, that's not the agenda. It's what we, that's what they say, right? So why would you give it to them? Why don't you want to give it some young guy? Hey, hey, here we got to remix this. They might reject the whole thing. Hopefully, they will reject the whole thing and give you a, you know something you can work with. Anyway, that's the point. Just about the remix. Don't let them remix. You do the remix. Don't trust. Don't trust. Don't trust some old white guy to bring out his stuff that he's been doing for years to remix it to 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 to, to favor whatever he's doing. That's all I'm saying. Just a little suggestion from a undisclosed vote location right here during this pandemic.